హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ వెల్కమ్ టు ద కోర్స్ కంప్యూటర్ నెట్వర్క్స్ దిస్ ఈస్ ఎస్ పార్వతి అసిస్టెంట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ సిఎస్ఐటి ఎంఎల్ఆర్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ టెక్నాలజీ ఇన్ టుడే సెషన్ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కసింగ్ అబౌట్ స్లైడింగ్ విండో ప్రోటోకాల్స్ దిస్ టాపిక్ కమ్స్ అండర్ ఫ్లో కంట్రోల్ ఇన్ ప్రీవియస్ సెషన్ ఆల్రెడీ వీ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ఎలిమెంటరీ డేటా లింక్ ప్రోటోకాల్స్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద డిఫరెంట్ డిఫరెంట్ ఎలిమెంటరీ డేటా లింక్ ప్రోటోకాల్స్ హౌ ద డేటా ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టు బి సెండెడ్ ఫ్రమ్ ద సెండర్ టు ద రీసీవర్ యూజింగ్ దట్ ప్రోటోకాల్స్ all we discussed in previous session now we are moving to the sliding window protocols that is in flow control so these are the sliding window protocols for noisy channel those are nothing but stop and wait arq automatic repeat request and go back and automatic repeat request and selective repeat arq is nothing but automatic repeat request these three are comes under sliding window protocols these three we are going to discuss in today's session first let us see about stop and wait arq protocol how the data is going to be sent from the sender to the receiver using stop and wait protocol stop and wait arq protocol see here what is the idea of stop and wait protocol is very simple what is the exactly how the data is going to be sent by using this after transmitting one frame the sender is wait for an acknowledgement so after sending one frame sender is waiting for the acknowledgement before transmitting to the next frame so here is sender here is the sender here is the receiver so whenever sender is sending the packet means sender is sending the frame the sender is going to be wait for the acknowledgement he is waiting for the acknowledgement that is going to be received from the receiver before transmitting to the next frame if the sender is wants to send the next frame first it will receive the acknowledgement then only it is going to send the next frame that is the main thing in stop and wait arq protocol automatic repeat request if the acknowledgement does not arrive after a certain period if the acknowledgement is does not receive the sender sender times out it will retransmit the original frame so suppose if this data packet if i send the frame to but i did not receive the acknowledge acknowledgement from the receiver then what the sender will understand means the timer is time out means the timer whatever time if it is the 4 minutes the time period is over then that time what sender will do again that frame to only again it will send to the receiver that is the process so then again after receiving the acknowledge acknowledgement means i received frame to i am ready for the frame 3 like that it is giving some acknowledgement then only it will send the next frame frame 3 this is the process in stop and wait arq protocol what are the main drawbacks in this stop and wait arq protocol one frame at a time it will send only one frame at a time after receiving the acknowledgement from the receiver then only it will send the next frame that is the drawback here few poor utilization of the bandwidth bandwidth also very poor here at the same time the performance coming to performance also very poor here because after means it is sending only frame by frame only the same time after receiving the acknowledgement only it will going to send the next one so if the times uh, timer speed is suppose if it is 10 minutes 20 minutes if it is say there may be chance to the poor bandwidth poor performance also these are the drawbacks of the stop and wait arq protocols and next sliding window protocols what is sliding window protocol here exactly sliding window protocol is by using these particular protocol we can control the flow of the data mainly why we are using sliding window protocols control the flow of the data so these protocols are called as the flow control protocols that's why it control the flow of the data for that reason only it is called as the flow control protocols so in these multi in this exactly multiple frames can be sent multiple frames can be sent at a time so in previous session in previous uh, uh, stop and wait arq means what exactly so after receiving the acknowledgement from the frame 1 uh, acknowledgement from the receiver for the frame 1 then only it will send the frame 2 right that is the process i am coming to sl sliding window protocols it can send multiple frames at a time it can send multiple frames like this without receiving the acknowledgement before receiving the acknowledgement from the receiver that is the advantage here in sliding window protocols the receiver send ack of multiple frames using single ack ack means here suppose here is the sender here is the receiver i received three frames frame 1 frame 2 
and frame 3. I received 3, I sent 3 frames. For these 3 frames, I received only 1 SEK, that is cumulative SEK. That is the advantages of the sli sliding window protocol, that is the one advantage. I sent multiple frames at a time, but uh, at the same time, I received only single SEK for all those frames, that is also advantage. The finite buffer at the sender and receiver side. So, sender and receiver set the buffer is finite buffer. Here is the finite buffer. So, what are the two sliding window protocols? These are the sliding window protocol exactly what rules it is following. But the two sliding window protocols are go back in ARQ. Automatic repeat request, selective repeat ARQ that is automatic repeat request. That is these two comes under sliding window protocols. So, first we will discuss about go back in ARQ, go back in ARQ, automatic repeat request. How it is going to be exactly the data is going to be sent from the sender to the receiver. See here, the concept of this particular protocol using protocol pipelining means what the sender can send multiple frames before receiving the acknowledgement from the first frame. So, the sender send the multiple frames before receiving the acknowledgement that is the go back in ARQ. There are finite number of frames and the frames are numbered in a sequential manner. So, here the, this is the sender, this is the receiver. This is the sender and receiver. In between sender and receiver, using this particular channel, we are going to send the data. So, how the data is going to be sent here? First thing is multiple frames I can send without receiving the acknowledgement. That is, that is the first point. This is the frame 1, this is the frame 2, this is the frame 3 like that. At the same time, each number is having the sequence, sequence means I am giving the number 1, 2, 3, multiple. At the same time, number of frames that can be sent depends on the window size of the sender. Based on the window size of the sender only, we can send the multiple frames at a time. That is, next one is the, if the acknowledgement of the frame is not received, within an agreed upon the time period, all the frames in the current window are going to be transmitted. That is the condition. So, frame 1. I received the acknowledgement for the frame 1. That is okay. ACK of 1. ACK of 1. Next one. I am saying I am receiving the I received acknowledgement from the frame 2. That is also I received. But next see here. I received I did not receive the acknowledgement from the frame 3. So frame 3 I sent, but I did not receive the acknowledgement. So in that this particular period only I sent to F4 frame 4, frame 5 also, but I did not receive the acknowledgement. So, what it will do that time is, I lost the frame 3, right? Again, it will send from frame 3 onwards, it will send. Where exactly it will lost the frame? Frame 3 onwards, I lost the frames, right? Again, from, from frame 3, it will send the acknowledgement. Frame 3, frame 4, frame 5, it will send the acknowledgement. So, see here, in this picture, this is the sliding window. So, I sent 0, first thing, frame 0, 1, 2, like this I sent the frames. But I received acknowledgement from 0 and 1. I did not receive the acknowledgement from the 2. But in that particular period only, I sent frame 4 and 5 also because I can send multiple frames at a time. That is why I sent the frames. But I did not receive the acknowledgement of frame 2. From that frame onwards, from frame 2 onwards, again we have to retransmit all the frames. Where I have to last the frame, from that particular frame, we have to send all the frames again. 2, 3, 4, 5, again we have to retransmit. That is the go back in ARQ. Where I last the frames, from that we have to resend the frames. That is the condition. And next one, selective repeat ARQ. What is selective repeat ARQ? How the data is going to be sent by using this selective repeat ARQ, automatic repeat request? Only the erroneous or last frames are going to be transmitted. What is the drawback in go back and go back and means what exactly what is the drawback there? Go back and drawback means what? Where the last frame is there, from that frame again we have to re retransmit all the frames. And coming to selective repeat ARQ, what exactly it is going to be do means the what frame it is lost, that frame only we have to retransmit the data. While correcting the frames are received and buffered. See in this picture, so here. 0, 1, 2, 3 frames I sent, multiple frames I sent. I received the acknowledgement for 0 and 1 and I did not receive the acknowledgement from the 2. 
So what it will in that particular period only I sent again four and five also I sent. So till now I, I sent five frames, but I did not receive the acknowledgement from the two. So I sent four and five. So what it will uh, again see here? I received the acknowledgement from the three, four, five. I received, but I did not receive only two. So what it will do in selected repeat? Selectively, what I did now I have to send only two frame. I have to send back to the receiver. So I have to retransmit only one frame. That is the frame two. Retransmit only frame two because we lost only frame two acknowledgement. That's why we sent it. Afterwards, four five already acknowledgement got missed. Afterwards, we have to send six and seven. In previous case, go back. Uh, previous case, go back and means what? Zero, one, two. If I received acknowledgement from the zero, this is a zero one. This is the one acknowledgement I received. So in that particular time only we sent four and five. So uh, three and four. Suppose if I lost the frame, uh, frame two means what we have to do? We have to retransmit again two, three, four like this. It, that is going to be happen. Coming to here only, we have to retransmit which frame exactly we lost. That only only we have to send the receiver while keeping track of the sequence number. Buffer the frames in memory and send NAC for only frame which is missing or damaged. NAC is nothing but negative acknowledgement. Negative acknowledgement means what exactly? I lost only frame two. So I need only that frame retransmission only. That is negative acknowledgement from the receiver side. The sender will send and retransmit the packet for which NAC is received. Whatever NAC is received, that was only the sender is retransmit the frame to the sender receiver. That is the process in the selective repeat ARQ. So coming to the differences between stop and wait, go back and end, selective repeat ARQ. See here the sender sends one frame at a time. In stop and wait, sender sends only one frame. After receiving the acknowledgement only, then it will go for the next frame. That is the stop and wait. And here it will transmit the multiple frames at a time. Go back and means we can transmit number of times, number of frames at a time. That is the go back end. And coming to here, selective repeat means it is also, it is also what it will also transmit the number of frames at a time. But here wherever it is going to be lost from that again, we have to retransmit all the frames in go back in coming to here it is which frame i lost that one only i have to retransmit that is selective repeat the sender window size is one here because every time it is sending only one one and coming to sender window size is in means i can send multiple frames at a time here also i can send multiple frames at a time window size is n and the receiver window size is one only received acknowledgement from the Receiver it so for uh, frame one it is from for frame one it will receive ACK one for frame two it is going to be received ACK two like that it is going to be received that is receiver window size is one and the receiver window size is one here here also means every time it is going to be acknowledgement and the receiver window size is n means cumulative ACK the sequence number is one plus one means what Sender window size plus receiver window side. Sender and receiver window size. That is 1 plus 1. Here is n plus 1. That is sender window size is n here and the receiver window size is 1 here. That is n plus 1. And sequence number here is sender window size is n. Receiver window size is also n. That is sequence number n plus n. The transmission type is half duplex here. How the data is going to be transmitted? That is half duplex, unidirectional. So it is having the independent ACK. That's why it is having the independent ACK. Here the transmission type is full duplex. Miss ACK also coming, right? That is cumulative ACK also going to be happening. Go back in. And coming to transmission, coming to selective repeat, here it is a full duplex. Here also full duplex means sending and receiving. Means receiving ACK is also right. Cumulative ACK. Independent ACK NAC also going to be there. So here cumulative ACK is there. But here independent ACK is there. Cumulative ACK is there. Negative acknowledgement also is there in selective repeat. So the formula for this efficiency is 1 by 1 plus 2 into A. And coming to here the formula is for efficiency N by 1 plus 2 into A. And coming to selective repeat the formula for efficiency is N by 1 plus 2A. This is in selective repeat ARQ. So 
this is the difference these are the some differences between stop and wait go back and selective repeat in flow control mechanism so coming to the summary in today's session we discussed about sliding window protocols for the nice channels those are stop and wait arq that is uh, automatic repeat request how to the frames are going to be sent from the sender to the receiver that is stop and wait arq and next one these two comes under what is sliding window protocols right go back in arq and select to repeat arq automatic repeat request number of frames are going to be send it at a time number of frames are going to be send it at a time but where the frame is last from that frame onwards it will going to be sent all frames retransmit again that is go back n coming to re select to repeat which frame i last that exactly that frame only i will retransmit again that is the select to repeat these are the protocols these are the sliding window protocols of the noisy channel in flow control mechanism